Hey guys, Andy here, and we need to talk, but let's go someplace a little more scenic. So hey guys, we out here at Southern Beach, out here in Chigisaki, Kanagawa, Japan. And this is a spot that has the best lighting because the sun's going down. So yeah, it's kind of the advantages of being just a 10 to 15 minute walk away from the beach. Yeah, before we begin, let's crack open a cold one. Got myself a nice little umeshu plum drink. So, cheers, y'all. Mm. Alrighty, so we have a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> and I figured just come out to the beach. It's the nice, most relaxing place to just kind of, you know, get my thoughts out about things. So, a few weeks ago, I found out that my stepdad had suddenly passed away and when I got the news I was just ready to go to bed I was just getting ready to shut down the computer and turn off the lights and get ready to get in bed and then I got a phone call from my brother telling me about what all happened and yeah it, it really shocked me because it was just completely sudden there was no underlying health issues that he had. It was just a very quick, sudden death. I don't want to get into the specifics. We just went through a lot of stuff in a very quick amount of time. You know, just trying to get emergency leave and stuff like that squared away. And thankfully, uh, my job was really quick to approve that for me. So thankful for that. And it's thanks to um, some friends of the family helped me out with being able to secure a plane ticket because I did not have that money on me at the time. And I just didn't really know what to do, you know? Um, but it was thanks to them that I was able to come home, see family, reconnect, and, um, you know, attend my stepdad's funeral. So, um, if you've been following me for a number of years, you probably know that my stepdad and I didn't have the best relationship over the years, but I gotta say, in the past mm, three to five years or so, you know, he's really turned around as a person, and uh, we really reconnected, and I'm very thankful for being able to reconnect with him in that, in that way. And, um, you know, he was always proud of me for, for my accomplishments. And I didn't really realize it until the last few years. Because he, before that, he was very, very quiet about those sorts of things. But it wasn't until fairly recently when he started just kind of talking about, you know, coming back out to Japan and, you know, getting my degree during, you know, old Koronsuke. And, um getting a job out here and doing video editing work and all this, that, and the other. And, you know, he would always send me um, job applications for video editor positions, um, but they were all American-based. So, you know, I appreciated the, uh, the sentiment, but it just, you know, I couldn't really do that while I was out in Japan because, you know, I need a visa to, to stay out here. So I was always kind of torn, you know? It's like, do I want to stay here and enjoy my life out in Japan or do I want to go back to America and give, you know, freelance video editing a try as more of a, you know, semi-full-time to eventually full-time role? And that's what I spent these past, you know, two some weeks thinking about as, you know, I got to reconnect with family and everything like that. And, you know, when I first came back to America, I figured, you know, this is it. I don't need this. You know, my family needs me now more than ever because I always told myself, and I even said it in a couple of my videos before, that, you know, the only things that would bring me back to the States were if I didn't have enough money, if there was a job offer that was just too good to resist, or if something happened with my family. And that's, that's very important to me. So... You know, I had to do a lot of, of thinking of what I would do if I did move back to the States, even just temporarily, you know, because I don't have a 
license anymore, so I'd have to go and reapply for that. And then I have to get a car, I have to get my own place, and you know, it just would take time. And you know, it's just things to, to consider. But you know, when after my time back in the States was up, you know, and I came back to, to Japan, I felt this sort of um, relief, I guess you could say. And it just seemed like everything just makes more sense out here than it does back in America. And I feel like, you know, I've been in Japan for so long that this is my home now. And, you know, America is where I'm from, and you know, I am American, and there's nothing I can do that can change that, really. But, you know, to me now, Japan is home. And I had to strongly think about if I wanted to go back to America and start over again. And at this point, I don't really know for sure. I mean, I figure if I continue, you know, doing more video production work and stuff like that, it will eventually lead me back to America because that's where all the high paying jobs are and stuff like that. But who knows, you know, I might be able to find a remote job to where I can, you know, still come out here for a couple months at a time and, and go back to America and then come back out here. You know, I think maybe that might be, you know, something for me to, to strongly think about. So I've just been looking around at a lot of different roles in America just to see what's out there. So if I did decide to go back to America, what could I expect? And surprisingly, there are a few remote roles. Sorry for the noise. Bikers rolling around here. Rusty ass brakes. Uh, it's showing on for you. But in any event, um, it's just something to, to really think about. You know, that's one of the, the drawbacks of, of living abroad is that while you're out here living your life, your friends and family back home are living theirs. And, you know, to see everybody just kind of move on with their lives, you know, something kind of, mm, kind of bittersweet about that. Like, I'm happy for them, of course, that they're moving on to bigger and, and better things in their lives. But... At the same time, it's like, you know, the further away that they progress in their lives, it feels like, you know, there's really no room left for me back, back there. And so, just something I've been struggling with for the past couple of weeks, just trying to, trying to process everything, you know, the grief of losing my stepdad so suddenly, and just come to terms with where I want to live moving forward and you know before everybody jumps in the comments of like oh Andy you should just stay in Japan teach English or you know marry somebody or whatever you know those those options are always available to me and now that I have my degree those options will always be available to me so even if I did move back to America I could always come back to Japan but you know the cost of moving back to America living in America it's pretty prohibitive, but there are a lot more options out there for me in terms of what I want to do moving forward in video production, video education, things of that nature. And, you know, it's got me thinking about a lot of, of different projects that I've been putting off for a number of years, just, you know, due to time and complexity and just life happening, you know, I never really got to them. So. I guess now we'll move on to the uh, the YouTube news <laughs> of this thing, like what, almost 11 minutes in, in the rock cut. So I've been working on a couple old videos that have been in the archives for a while. As you guys saw, you know, some old clips from the summer down in Oiso, and a little clip of Nagoya Castle that I recorded just a few months ago during the summertime. Uh, but I also have some other stuff from my trip out to Kyoto and Osaka. Now, originally I was going to make them like separate videos based on the places that I went to, 
but after reviewing the footage, um, there were some videos that were like proper Andy Japandi sized. Then there's a couple that were just like short little bits here and there. So I decided to just kind of compile it, you know, have like one Osaka video and one Kyoto video. So they're going to be a bit longer than my usual, you know, four to five minute affairs. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I know some, some people have been looking to invest in longer videos, which is fine. You know, I just, I don't always have the time for longer videos, but you know, I think these videos definitely deserve it. So be on the lookout for those coming fairly soon. As well as some edit with Andy stuff that I'm gonna be working on. I have a big project that I'm gonna be undertaking here. So it's not gonna be an overnight thing, but definitely keep your ears open for that coming sooner rather than later. And it's something that my stepdad, my stepdad and I have been uh, discussing, you know, just why don't I do this thing? And like I said, I've always just kind of put it off just due to time constraints and everything. But, you know, I think now is it's the time to uh, be getting going with those projects and just being a bit more serious about my pursuit in video production. You know, because the thing with, with life is, you know, tomorrow's not guaranteed. You know, my stepdad didn't wake up that morning before going to work thinking that that was it for him. It just happens. And that's just how life is, you know? Tomorrow's not guaranteed, like I said. So if you have any dreams, aspirations, goals, it's best to get on them and pursue them. And even if, you know, you die before fulfilling them, it's in the pursuit of the goals that you'll find true happiness. And that's kind of my line of thinking right now is just, you know, getting a bit more serious about video production and other things in life. And if that means leaving Japan, even just temporarily, then so be it. We'll just see where things go. But for the record, though, I do want to stay, stay in Japan if I can. It's just, you know, <laughs> life and Dougie's. <laughs> But, yeah, I think, to me, Japan will always be home in a sense. You know, I've lived here so long that it just doesn't seem real to, to leave here forever and ever. But, you know, it's okay to take a break from it every once in a while and just reconnect, go elsewhere, and, you know, think about things. So, you know... It's not going to be an overnight thing, like I said. I'm not going to be packing my bags and moving back to Ohio tomorrow. But it is something I am seriously considering. You know, I just have to get the machine behind me and we'll go from there. So we'll see what happens, man. This is just, just my thoughts for now. But uh, I see I'm going to be running out of battery here soon <laughs> and the light is starting to dip already but it's got a nice little sunset back there so mountain chikisaki so that is eboshi it's a signature rock formation out here um i wish i had my good camera so i could actually show you it a bit closer but i just have my cell phone so it is what it is but yeah that's just my thoughts on life stuff things so with that said guys this is andy signing for now as always forever see you Next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Simple life and happier time. Spirits of the past. Memories of mine. Shooting stars in the pale moon.